We should change our uh, call display to answer this phone call steps to more and more air flows and that flow. And I say air flows because I don't know. Which is like, you know, I, 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 there's a brand right there. It is 10.24. I had work today and then I came home, took a break for an hour and my boyfriend and I went to do some working out for maybe an hour. I worked out for like maybe 20, 30 minutes and he did the full hour. And um, we're back now. I had a shower, made some soup. It's almost done. I'm very sad. I just cup of soup. It's pretty much just sodium. It's just broth. <laughs> Um, but it's very nice. Anyway, uh, so I want to work on two pages. I'm on pa I'm working on pages 14 and 15. So this page is um, a transition page. So it's going to be maybe, you know, one page is like um, a succession of events. So a bunch of panels. Panels. I'm treating panels very loosely in this comic. Let me try and have my face on here um, and the next page is gonna be like one of those transition pages with scenery so next page won't be too difficult I just want to make sure everything is straight mostly straight I'm just yeah okay I also started editing the vlog so Hopefully I'll have that out by Friday. And then I've already started filming a little bit of my week for the next vlog. And um, yeah, okay, I got my things down. So I'm just going to continue working and I'll probably vlog a little bit more tomorrow. I have a day off tomorrow. And then I go back to work on Thursday and Friday. My work schedule has been quite hectic um, the last few months I've been working more my boss has asked me to come in four days a week instead of my regular three for a while so hopefully hopefully that stops soon but we're just trying to get out a bunch of reports and work done kind of get some stuff off of our plate then I can go back to my regular schedule of three days a week anyway I hope so
So, all right, let's continue working and finishing the rest of my soup. I have a spoon here for because the noodles go at the bottom, so that's the end of it. I just I really like the broth. Don't really care about the noodles. <laughs> check the post office to see if they sell special postcards just from this area. Lots of places in Japan do that. And it's cool to know that you can only buy it here. So I try to pick some up when I visit cool areas like this. I did it. I did two pages. Um, I could show you these because these are just, they say nothing. Um, so it's her putting her suitcase in uh, the car and turning on the radio or something. And then this is just the other one where it's just in the forest with the car. The car looks really bad, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll let it go for now. So I did two pages, 14 and 15. Okay. I actually didn't think I would get two pages done. I did two pages yesterday and I did two pages tonight. My goal is to do two pages every single day. I don't know if that's possible, but that's the goal. And on the weekend, I want to do at least five pages, 10 if I can. 10 would be amazing. I did like 10 last weekend just because I was getting into it, but we'll see. So yeah, it's now 11-11. Make a wish. I wish that it was the next day and that I can have lunch. I'm hungry. <laughs> um... Anyway, I'm going to clean up my desk, brush my teeth, and head to bed. Maybe I'll play some Stardew. I don't know. Watch some shows. But I'm glad I finished those two pages. I'm going to edit the vlog tomorrow. I did a little bit of editing when I was waiting to leave for kickboxing. So, anyway. Good night. See you guys tomorrow morning. try to traverse them, what will happen is sea monsters, right? They'll destroy your ship. Easy. And you can tell that sea monsters are real because once in a while you get some weird thing that washes up to shore. The vlog is now exporting. Now that I finished editing the vlog, I'm going to work on the comic. I'm going to start with two pages. I did two pages yesterday, so I'm going to try and do two more today and maybe more. We'll see. But I printed off some old sketches, well, old comic thumbnails from a comic that didn't I didn't finish I still want to finish it but I guess I got bored but I'm gonna shamelessly reuse some of the interiors from that and trace it so here's I'll show you each page uh, so there's this one I never finished this comic I'm just gonna reuse some of the scenes like I already drew I needed something with a car and I just remembered I had that and like this one's pretty good So I'm gonna reuse these kind of put them together in a in a mash so I can um, walk faster All right, it's now 1243. I don't remember the last time I vlogged but I finished two pages I feel like these pages took longer um, Just because uh, it's just the start of the day uh so yeah so i did use some i did reuse some assets from previous pages but it took a little bit to kind of figure out how to puzzle them together i don't like i said in the last vlog the way i'm approaching the comic pages is i just go straight to finish pencils 
and then the next the next phase is going to be final watercolor so i'm completely skipping sketching which is the new process that i've been kind of doing with my art i don't i used to do like a a, a, a dirty sketch <laughs> like a rough sketch a very rough sketch um and like line paper and then i would take maybe another piece of paper do a cleaner sketch from that dirty sketch or that really messy sketch and so and then I would do like a clean pencil and then I would watercolor so the last couple times I've been doing pieces I've just been straight into final pencils and then watercolor or color pencil so yeah um the 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 drawing I did in the last vlog of like that red riding hood kind of character with the foxtail not the foxtail yeah with the foxtail uh that was straight from I guess imagination onto final pencil so that's what I've been doing and I've been really liking that process just because it takes off time <laughs> I'm very impatient and so yeah I just been doing clean pencils and this is what I've been doing with this comic so I can show you pages 16 and 17 because again nothing happens this is just like I've done four transition pages so far and I think this comic really has no dialogue either. It's a very minimal dialogue comic, like a lot of my comics have been. Let me find some better lighting because the pencils are very light. Uh, yeah, so this is page um, 16 and 17. I don't know if you can even see what's going on. But I've been doing this um, symbol here, which means that this is going to be two pages together. So. It's a spread pretty much. So I've just been doing arrows facing each other. This is my very first page and the arrow is just, it's not even an arrow, it's a zero. I guess I came up with it by myself, but I just wanna keep track of what pages are together. I think I'm going to take a break. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but my boyfriend and I are gonna go out for lunch today together. He's home, so uh, we're gonna go to this, um, I don't remember, Puerto Re it's either Puerto Rican or Colombian place. I have to look it up but we've been before and it's really good so we're gonna go there for lunch but not in a little but in a little bit it's only like 12 45 so maybe in about 45 minutes or half an hour we'll see uh, so I'm gonna clean up and just get excited for lunch because I'm home. Hey, Does he love everything about Japan now? Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Chris is too happy and nice now. If you want a rat, you get a rat. This is going to be the angriest video I've ever made. You can definitely shit. That should be a great video. I came here to be angry. Very angry indeed. So, here's 12 things I hate about Japan. Game and one so horrific, it'll absolutely be appearing on this list later on. Number two is go to the hostess club or snack bar. It's a candle. Um, so I'm working on my business card. I want to have a new business card for the cons for whatever con I get into next year. And so um, I came up with a couple ideas. The first idea was this thing. Oh, that is, that is bad. Um, there it is creepy looking thing i like it but i think it needs a little bit more working in terms of the size it's too long and might be too wide for the card and once it gets sw um, sh um, shrunk it'll look bad but i like the idea and then i just drew this that maybe i can crop it into a business card just a regular drawing that came out of my head it's a mermaid with a blobfish and then I traced the size of my old business card and I just randomly drew this weird angel so um, I might try and paint this and see how it turns out and then the back of the card will just be text probably so very simple we'll see let's try painting this 
It is now 8.25, way later. I had to do a little bit of work, um, but I'm back to working on the business card. Um, but I decided while I waited for my paint to dry, so by the way, I did finish this drawing and it's not very good. It's too sketchy and just very unclear, so I just, it's just nothing. I'm not going to use that at all. And so I'm just waiting for my paint to dry for this one. This one's going to be a little bit more involved. So I was waiting for my paint to dry. I decided to lay out some business cards with um, drawings that I've already done that I really like. And I am uh, a little bit torn. My past business cards were really nice because they were just the drawing of me like jumping into a puddle of boogers. And then the other one was me jumping into pizza. I really like those. I wish I kept copies. But... Um, I was thinking of continuing that look, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should. You know what other illustrations I do like? I like all my witchy illustrations, but then they just don't showcase the style that I'm working with right now, which is a little bit more realistic. Uh, for the most part, most of my cartoonish work is a bit more realistic than this one. This is what I'm talking about. This is my past, my latest business card, um, the back of it. But alright, there's more to get to with this in the After the Funnel Rose, so I'm going to start holding some of my commentary till then. And let's not forget, there are a lot more breakups ahead as with a new day comes decision time. The moment at the end one thing was on my mind, someone needs to tell them to put on their seatbelts. I'm like really excited to get this going. Yeah. So that's it for this finale recap of Bachelor. So I just filmed a quick short on YouTube of this one of me just painting the blobfish and uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube says they're gonna start monetizing shorts in the new year. So I was like, hmm, it's not too hard for me to create like little short videos because I just kind of film them on the spot. I don't do any editing or anything. And so I was trying it out, but then like I had put, um, a YouTube audio library sound over it and so it's ineligible. I don't know if that's going to be the case in the future. It's I didn't use any copyrighted music. I used YouTube's audio library music. So I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, it's too late for me to, I don't want to refilm it because I've already painted the blobfish and I didn't save any of the footage. Um, I don't think it automatically saves on my camera roll, so I just let it go. Next time, I'm going to try just no sound. I don't really care if it's just me, the sound of painting. So I guess we'll see. I'm not going to do anything too, too um, involved in terms of if I do create shorts on YouTube. They're just going to be like really quick painting um, shorts. Very, very short. The one I put up just like 15 seconds so it, it was like no skin off my back pretty easy so why not we'll see so I'm actually getting quite far into this drawing and I yeah it's very funny <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him he's playing D&D &D. um what was I saying I don't remember Oh, right, right, right. I'm getting quite far into this illustration and I have been liking it so far. So it's just the cropping issue would be a problem because again, like I said, I just don't want it to be... I guess it would. It could just end up being a portrait. I could try doing it like that, but I don't know. I'm just darkening the background now and then probably I'm not gonna set this up tonight. I'll probably work on it tomorrow. I decided not to work on any other comic pages right now because I, I hit my quota for the day of two. So I'm just going to keep it that way and then maybe on the weekend I'll do more. I don't want to burn myself out uh, drawing comic pages every single day and like pushing f past my quota of two. Because two is manageable right now. So I just want to try and balance the workload. So I'm just enjoying my night by painting, but I'm also planning out this business card thing. So we'll see. And it doesn't matter if I don't like this illustration, I'll just paint another one. Uh, I'll probably sell this original. It's a small one, so... Yeah. So the colors are quite dull. I don't know if it shows on camera. 
very dull colors in real life and what I do is I really bump it up on Photoshop once I scan it but I think that's where I'm at for now I, I feel like I've darkened her eyebrows a little bit too much I feel like her head looks really big on camera but let we'll, we'll assess after I'm gonna clean up the desk going to crush this underneath something, some watercolor paper, and another one. Eh. Crushed. For scale? One, 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 and then <laughs> you just keep getting dice. <laughs> or use my technique where you. Alright, I want money. <laughs> I want money. I just want money. Good morning. I'm wearing my red jumpsuit. I don't think you've seen me wear this. I also altered the hem. Okay, I'm attempting to show you the hem, but that's impossible. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my jumpsuit because I, I was gonna, I'm gonna be busy all day. I'm gonna be working on a little Christmas invitation for a party that my friend and I are planning, and so I want to do that in the morning. It's already twelve twenty-three, and then I'll probably go to the mall afterwards and uh, finish up some of the people on my Christmas list. So I'm gonna take you shopping with me, and then I want to catch up on comic pages because the last two days I was actually hanging out with friends. Thursday was a bit of an impromptu hangout, so I had planned to work on two pages, and then on Friday night, as you saw, I went to um, a place, it's called Red Room, it's in downtown Toronto in Spadina. Uh, it's in Spadina, yeah. It's a great little lounge area, very, very chill. It's our favorite spot to go to and their food is very affordable and their drinks are affordable. So we decided to, we played some board games there until about 10, 10.30 and then we headed home. So I knew that Friday I wasn't gonna be able to work on comic pages, but, um, so I need to catch up. Um, I did put a little bit more effort into my look today, so, but, but I'm going out. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start on the Christmas invite. I'll show you it, but I won't show you the details like of where it's gonna be uh, because that would be uh, not good. So I'm gonna work on that right now and then we're gonna go to the mall and then we're gonna do some comics. Hopefully I can uh, catch up. So I guess I would need to catch up four pages and then over the weekend I plan to do like five. I'll probably lessen that to like two or something. So I just want to catch up pretty much. Okay, quite like it. They're gonna go around and see. I don't know what good food we can buy, right? Yeah, definitely. There's hints of uh, bird souls, also see-through. Hey, hey. Alright, I have an update. 
Um, okay, I'll show you. This is the um, holiday party invite. Uh, it's not going to be printed. We're just going to send it digitally. But uh, it's just my friend and I because we're kind of um, uh, planning together. So I thought we'd just draw each other. So it'll be that date. And then I changed it to info you don't need. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be like a potluck style. And we settled on like just wear a holiday sweater. It doesn't even have to be an, uh, like an ugly sweater. Just like a regular holiday sweater. But I'm, I put uh, an asterisk for everything here that it's totally optional. Like you can just wear whatever. It's just going to be very, very chill party just it's you it's mostly our um, intimate friends but um like just our close circle but we are inviting some new people so yeah it's just going to be a very small chill party we're just going to play play games and stuff and then um the only thing i don't like is this uh gingerbread thing but whatever i'll just keep it on there i heavily referenced this um where'd it go i heavily referenced a card that i found on Google. Oh no, it's gone. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice Christmas card. Just the, one of the first, or one of the first few things that popped up on my Google search for a holiday card because I'm not a graphic designer. So in terms of the kerning and the text, I wanted to reference that. So I just kind of used that layout in terms of the text. But I also used some of the assets that that holiday card had like the mistletoe. I was like, that's a good idea. I do. It did trace some of them just for quickness because I'm not this is not like a serious thing I'm not going to be printing this it's just for friends uh, just to like quicken the pace let me try and find it I lost it so I can't find it and I deleted it off of my layer and I also don't want to uh, redo the layers because I this is the final but yeah I basically took those assets like the mistletoe, mistletoe. Um, it was just so nice and graphic that I was like I cannot do it myself <laughs> So anyway, just for quickness, I did that. I, I did um, draw the Christmas tree, some of the ornaments, but I did reuse some of the assets like the mistletoe and the Christmas tree. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is it. I'm going to send it to my friend for her to look at. And then, yeah. Oh, it was about, took about an hour or so. All right, I'm going to get rid of this tablet because when I get home, I'm going to draw comic pages. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to finish his shower because I want to show him the invite before I head out. And uh, um, probably ask him if he needs anything from the mall. Okay, while I wait, let me show you the update on this illustration. I have been flattening it for the last two days under these pads of watercolor paper and it's nice and flat now as you can see. Uh, and I just realized how big her head is. And it kind of juts out a little bit in terms of her body. So the anatomy is not perfect. This is not done yet. I still need to do a little bit more layers of watercolor. And what I can do is I can pro probably um, warp her face on Photoshop and make it a little bit more back and maybe a slightly smaller. I don't mind it because I like weird big heads, but it does look a little off. I guess because I was drawing like this. I don't know. Or like this. Yeah, I was, I ha I was a little bit... When I was sitting and painting, it was a little bit tilted like that. So I couldn't really tell, which is the issue. That's why I need to be painting on my table that is that. But I like sitting here. So my fault, but I really like how it's turning out. Um, and look at this little guy. He kind of looks like a penis, you know, shape-wise. But still really happy with that. I'm going to see once I scan it and how it's going to look as a business card. Because I'm planning it to be my business card cover. So... Wind warning, okay. I'm gonna bring my small camera. Um, so if the quality isn't as you like, I'm sorry. It's a little, it's, it's a pretty good camera. It's just sometimes they can't see what I'm filming if I'm filming myself. So I tend not to, but I'll be bringing this guy because he's small. I know I'm wearing so many layers, so I'm going to be so puffy and probably hot after, but it's fine. I'd rather be hot than cold. And my fanny pack. <laughs> 
is. Here's the fit. <laughs> Here's the fit. I look like a fool. I made it. Look how cute these Pusheen figures are. Oh uh, my god. This one? There's a bunch of them. I don't know. But I don't need it. <laughs> I'm at Kohl's now and I just saw these. <gasps> these are tiny little books. They're $2.50. And the paperback princess. Oh my god, it's so small. So this is the big size. Oh, that's so cute. I just want to get it for myself. Oh man. I do love the paperback princess. It's not Robert Mike books it looks like oh this one is, that, is this the one where she shaves her head yes this is Stephanie's ponytail oh my goodness who do I know though that likes these books I don't think kids would really appreciate like <laughs> I just want to get it for me Eesh. Oh, I'm back. I was carrying this bag, that bag, and that bag. Well, it's obviously way later and my camera needs to get charged. I made some iced coffee. I came home around 5.30 and there was like it was dark when I was walking back home and I had some dinner, I chilled a little bit downstairs in the living room, then I made myself a nice coffee. I started my laundry too, because I need to do that. But I'm sitting here, I'm going to start cracking into these comic pages, but I thought I'd show you something. I got some stuff on Amazon for um, gifts, just because I wasn't able to find them anywhere else. So, but uh, as I was shopping on Amazon, I got this thing. I thought you might be interested in seeing. I'm behind the camera. Um, this is a pack of sketchbooks, and I thought I'd get it because, uh, sorry, because my friends and I love art. Like, our my friends are also artists, and I got this because, like, I like the square squareness of them. I thought they're really good. It's like a pack of twenty four, I think, but. Look at it. Just like square sketchbooks. Um, paper is very, you know, standard, but they're stitched. Yeah, they're stitched. And um, so I, th I thought I'd get them and I thought they're really cute. Yeah, so there's a whole pack here. Like imagine if you're doing Inktober or like a challenge or something, these would be really excellent. So I got a bunch of them and I'm going to give a bunch of them to my friends, but I'm also going to keep some for myself because they are perfect size. So cute. So I got that. I could not resist. So I got <laughs> I got that. And I thought I'd show you the Christmas sweater that I got myself at the mall because it's going to be a Christmas sweater party or holiday sweater. I have said holiday sweater. So I got this. I couldn't find one that um, I liked and it was quite busy at that store. So I wanted to just grab something, something and go. And I grabbed this one. It's a size medium. There was not a size small that I could look through. And the other, there was um, there was a gray one, a gray sweater with like a bunch of fuzzy Santas, like Santa, his beard and his hat. And he look, it looked so bad and so fun and cute that I wanted it. But when I unfurled the sweater, it's a crop sweater. A lot of the clothes nowadays are cropped and short. So I was like, mm, not going to work for me, which was unfortunate because I really liked the design. But a bunch of the other ones that I liked too were also cropped sweaters and I'm like, I'm not, I cannot be cropped, okay? I cannot wear, I cannot pull off cropped outfits without dying of anxiety. So uh, I got this one, pretty simple and I'll probably use it every year. So it's just, yeah, it's a medium, which is great. It's gonna be probably really hot, it's very warm, but 
I'm done. I, good thing I remembered that. It was the last thing on my... Um, I didn't even remember it until I passed by the store and saw some Christmas sweaters. I was like, okay, thank God I was able to remember. And by the time I was leaving the mall, the fire alarm and the mall went off. I don't know what happened, but the fire alarm went off and I was like, bye suckers. So I just left. It is now 8.30. I finished two pages. I'm going to aim for doing two more right now. Um, I finished my coffee. I want another one, but I think I just want a cold drink. Maybe I should just drink some water. Um, finished two pages. I wanted to show you one one thing in the second page that I did, the profile. It's just, I really am happy with it. It just kind of came together in like a few seconds and I was like, oh, that's perfect. Look at that. It's pretty good. Anyway, I like it. Artist, and I don't think digital products really fit with that. I don't think I actually have anything to offer. And here's the thing. I think you're wrong. It is now 9.42. I finished two pages. So, not two pages, four pages. Finished four pages. So, I have officially caught up for f Thursday and Friday. And maybe I'm going to try and draw two more tomorrow, which is a Sunday. Um, technically, I'd like to do four for the weekend. But again, I lost some time. But it's still good. I'm now up to page 21. And so... Um, I'm really happy. All right, I'm gonna clean up my desk. I'm probably gonna chill out for the rest of the night. Maybe look through all the gifts that I got and kind of start sequestering things and packing them up. I tend to, whenever I do Christmas shopping, I tend to buy a lot of small things for people. I don't really buy one big thing. I like buying a bunch of things, small things for peeps. So that's what I did. And so I need to kind of put things together. My brothers and I are also going to have um, like our own Christmas thing at my house on the 24th and the 25th. So I am going to prepare, my boyfriend and I are going to prepare some dinner. And I'm going to, I'm responsible for gifts. So I made stockings for them. I don't think they watch this vlog. Maybe my boyfriend's, my, my brother's girlfriend watches it, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, so I'm preparing stockings for them. It's my first time doing it, so I'm very excited. I bought some stockings at the dollar store, and they're pretty nice. Let me show you what I... Let me show you them. They're kind of at the bottom of the pile here. I bought all the same ones, so it's not that... Excuse me. Here it is. So they're pretty nice. It's kind of like a canvas thing, and it was $3.25 at the dollar store. So I got some stockings. I got four of these because I'm making a uh, stocking for my boyfriend too, even though he doesn't really need it. But cute. So I'm just going to stuff this with like chocolates and stuff. Um, so that's fun. I even bought some moths so I can take it out of the packaging and have uh, some candy in this. So yeah, I got some stockings. So I got a lot of stuff to kind of put together. I don't think I... I bought some Christmas wrapping, but I didn't buy any Christmas bags or Christmas boxes. And I kept the Amazon box that I got my little sketchbooks in. I'm going to put these in the stockings too. Maybe I'll stamp their names on it. I think that'll be really cute. I don't think my brothers are going to use them, but um, I thought it was cute. And I have a bunch of them also. I have, I think I've officially finished uh, shopping for my boyfriend, but one of the things I got him is this. Hope he does. He's never read this before, but I got him this book called City of Thieves by Ian Livingston, and this is this comes from a series of books, and they're pretty much like dungeon crawler games. So it's like a game book. Uh, if you if somebody loves D and D in your family, they might want like this. So it's game. It's uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's it's not like a choose your own adventure. It's similar to that, but uh, you can kind of roll dice and then you can their stats. I don't know. I don't I've never really played this game, but it's like a whole thing. So I got this for him, a fighting fantasy book, and these were like released in the 80s and stuff and they reprinted them again and it's a series so there's a bunch of them and I picked City of Thieves so hopefully he's never played this before he said he did play one of the other ones a while back but I wanted to get him one too I got one for my brother as well and another one for a friend that 
um, loves board games. So I'm gonna hide this though. Go ahead, it. Right, it's now. Uh, noon and this is it i didn't work too much more on it i just added a few more layers of color i guess but it was pretty much done for the most part and i don't want to overwork it so this is the final here um, i'm going to try and warp her head in photoshop because it looked really it looks really big which is fine cartoony right but we'll see how it looks with after the warp so um that's done and i also started a new drawing that I'm going to attempt to color in. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry for the rays of light here. I don't know if you can really see, but I'm really doing the unicorns now. So this is it. The pencil. I sat for a while trying to figure out what to do. So this is what I ended up drawing and we will see how it turns out. But I won't start painting that until later. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do the the base layer in terms like just the background and stuff the unicorn is going to be white so i'm going to be doing a lot of working around it here is the warp so let me show you um this is the warp already her head is still big which i decided to keep uh, but this is the original so her head juts out more in the original and then what i did is i just pushed it with the warp tool backwards so there you go I also cleaned up some of the like dots and stuff and dust so this is original warp original warp and i'm gonna see how it looks like if i make her head smaller so i'm gonna name it warp two but yeah that's the difference right, here is warp number two with a smaller head so this is the one and then i will so that's the big head small head big head small head I think I like that better. The only issue is because I'm I'm just using my mouse. I don't want to pull out my Zendik and everything, but you can see some of the... I use the clone stamp tool just to um, fix that hair. It doesn't look good because it's blurry and I just... It's very rough, but I think it works out because her hair is supposed to be underwater. I didn't decide to add any like bubbles or anything. Well, where'd it go? Bubbles or anything like that because I was like, I don't want to go crazy and overwork it. I could try and add it on Photoshop, but I think it's fine without it. More simple. So yeah, so let's go through. So this is the final warp. Uh, this is the original. Uh, push the head back a little bit and made it smaller. So there you go. And then I'll just clean up the edges and everything. Okay, so this is the business card. I decided to not show anything other than her face because uh, it's just kind of awkward because it's it, the bottom is her holding the blobfish and then her chest and I don't want the chest at all to be there and then when that uh, without the blobfish and then when the blobfish was there and she's holding it it just looks like she's holding a big penis so I'm just like no I'm just gonna keep it as her portrait and then I decided to reuse the uh, draw or die illustration of the easel and stuff as the back Mm, although now that I think about it, it's just an easel and a chair, but there's no paints. I don't know. It's very simple. What do you guys think? Good evening. It is 7.51 p.m. on Monday, December the 5th. I just had a shower. I came back home from work maybe around 6.45, 7 o'clock, and then I had some dinner. I did a few chores, and now I'm here sitting at my desk and I'm going to work on the two comic pages that I have promised to, to do. I decided over the weekend that I was not going to push myself to do four more because I'm going to have weekends as weekends. As long as I do my quota of two pages during the weekdays, although I won't be able to do it on Friday because I am going to an art crawl. Um, anyway, I've decided to leave weekends free, but since I wasn't able to do the pages last Friday, I did them. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get into this. And I'll probably start editing the vlog soon. I'm not sure how much footage I, I have, but 
I'm gonna start doing that, and then yeah, this will be two pages. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. I want to be done in like an hour and a half, hopefully an hour, and then so I can just relax for the rest of the night, maybe watch a couple videos, but this is my goal, and since it is Monday, I want to get a good start in the week, so I'm not going to talk for much more, but I'm just going to put on a video and work. It's nine o'clock. I think that took me about an hour, about an hour and a couple minutes, but the pages are finished. They're just talking pages, so nothing is really going on. People are just talking. I can check this off of my list. I'm pretty happy. I'm starting to write stuff down in the corners just to remember the text that I want in the bubbles. I am the way I've been laying this out is I just kind of think about the conversations that are happening. It's only now that um, there's more dialogue going on, so I need to really make sure I remember what's going on. But here's page, just two people making tea, drinking tea. Yeah, I did draw the bubbles in the second page, but yeah, I just kind of leave a space where I think I'm, where I'm sure I'm going to put some dialogue and then sometimes the bubbles are going to be covering some of the background so that's not a problem i'll be i'll be doing a lot of altering on photoshop so yeah but two pages done i can get ready for bed i'm going to clean up my desk though as usual that's been the ritual is to clean up the desk for so it's easier to get started on work the next day so I don't have to move stuff around. If everything is clean on the desk, you just gotta sit down and draw. That's it, you don't have to stress out about the messy desk. All right, I'm going to sign off for tonight and I'll see you guys in the next clip. I don't know what that's gonna be. It might be more comic making tomorrow night. Oh no, actually, I'm going kickboxing tomorrow night, but that's okay. That's okay because we might go kickboxing. I'm not totally sure, but that's okay because it's fine. I, I will still try and keep up with my two-page quota. All right. Bye. took out my Christmas tree, but I'm not gonna set it up tonight. And this is my box of all the Christmas stuff. Wow, is it yellow in this room? It's uh, 10 o'clock on Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday, December the 7th. And I'm editing the vlog. I'm at 48 minutes, but I really wanna push it to an hour but I don't have any footage or idea of what to vlog to push it to an hour. I guess I could decorate my Christmas tree but I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah um, as you saw earlier in the vlog I, I've been waking up like way early sometimes during the week, work, work week like once or twice a week I will wake up at four sometimes three and just like not be able to get back to sleep so I just decide to head to work I'll grab the first bus to work which is usually at 5 and then I just chill at the Tim Hortons drinking coffee and drawing and just kind of spacing out until work comes I don't know what it is I don't know um, but this week was special because I actually wake up on Tuesday I woke up at 2.30 I did sleep fairly early I slept at around 10 p.m. but I woke up at 2.30 a.m couldn't get back to sleep i was tossing and turning until about 3 30 in the morning and then i just decided to get up and grab the 5 a.m um the time i think i had an hour or so to get ready but i only 
it takes me like maybe 15 minutes to or less to get ready because I usually do my makeup either on the bus or at the office bathroom but I got ready and for the hour I decided I was going to take my driver's test in Canada or at least in Ontario it's a graduated license licensing system so you have to take your G1 first which is a written test where it, they, they ask you about all the rules of the road um, and, and and signs so I had been intending to take this test for about two years now I've just been kind of stalling I'm already 30 I'm turning 33 and like I still don't have my driver's license so I really needed to get it and I just decided when I woke up at 2 that I was gonna go to the driver to the drive test for 7 so the hour or so before um, that and while I was on the bus and while I was waiting at the Tim Hortons that I decided to stay at for before going to the drive test, I was studying. I read the book. I read it before, so I reread it again. I did a bunch of practice tests on my phone. <laughs> and then I went to the drive test center. I was there for uh, 7.20 and it was already full of people. And I took my test. I waited about an, about an hour and a half to actually sit down to do the test because you had to line up. Um, because of the queue of people, I had to line up, I had to wait for my turn, I had to pay for the test, I had to take my picture for the driver's license, they had to do a vision test, which takes like two seconds, and ask me a couple questions and stuff, and then I did the test, it's over, it's a computer test, so you just sit down and kind of pick the answers and stuff, and I had actually taken this test more than 15 years ago when I was 16, it's when you turn 16 in Ontario, you can start um, trying to get your driver's license. So when I was 16, I actually passed this test, but you actually only have five years. Um, it's only valid for five years. And in that five years, you have to be able to get uh, through the process. So you have to take your G2, which is the driver's test. And then you have to take your G, which is the uh, next level where you drive on the highway. And when you pass those tests, you are a fully licensed driver. So I took my G1 in, uh, when I was 16. I took the driving courses and stuff. I took my G2 test where I had to drive with an in, with a with an instructor or somebody who's like marking you for the test and I failed. I failed and I never took it again and my 5 years lapsed and now I am 32 without a driver's license. So I've never really needed it in my life. I've always relied on public transit, which wasn't so bad. I always picked areas where I was able to commute, where there was a good bus system, train system, whatever. But at this point, I'm pushing it. So I decided when I woke up one, at 2 a.m. that I was going to take my test, and good thing I passed. You can retake the test as much as you can. Um, it's only $16 plus taxes or something to retake it like a, a couple more times, but I passed it in, my one, in one go, which was good because I was worried I was going to fail a bunch because I haven't really brushed up on my rules of the road and the point system for when you like make mistakes on the road and whatever so that's the hard part you have to mostly kind of memorize that wow i'm just chatting away here but yeah so i took my g1 on the morning that i woke up at 2 30 i passed it and now i am able i'm actually able to drive I will be able to drive if somebody who has like four years of experience is with me at all times. Of course, I can't drive alone. I can't drive with somebody somebody who is not ex an experienced driver or a licensed driver. But my boyfriend, for example, can sit with me and we can drive in the parking lot so I can practice some parking techniques and stuff. But I am intending to sign up for in-car driver's lessons. I don't know if I'm going to take driving school. I did it when I was 16. So I don't know if I, if I might, I have a couple questions to answer or I have a couple questions like do I have to do driver school again if I had already taken it 15 years ago? I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's off my list now. My list, that has, the, the thing that I've been intending to do for the last probably five years, I'm done. So I just need to pass all the tests. I know I'm going to fail my G2 again for sure probably gonna fill my G but I have to get it done in five years you, I, you can extend the five years if you pay an amount of money but you can only do that once so I want to be driving within five years but anyway that's what I did on the Tuesday that I woke up so I'm 
pretty tired today. It's already Wednesday, like I said, so... <sighs> wow, that was just yesterday. Felt like it was like three days ago. All right, anyway, I'm gonna sign off now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope it was um, interesting, enjoyable, kept you company at least while you're doing your drawing and stuff. Uh, we'll see what the next vlog holds for us. Probably more comic stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up, so I'm gonna have to do that. That's probably gonna be in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks so much for watching, if you do. Bye. <laughs> This is great.